Okay, as a response to some of the requests I've gotten to how I did my collision setup for the Vive, I've decided to do a few videos covering that. So I'm going to create a new project here uh, based on the virtual template. For, uh, so I'm going to call this and I'm going to take it really slow in the beginning and th so the first video here is mainly going to be a setup and preparation video so in case you don't really care about that and are more interested in how I actually do the implementation you can safely just skip it to the next one so to begin with we're going to open up the maps folder the map we're going to be working in is going to be the motion controller map it's going to be this one here and in case you're going to be working on this for a bit of time and you want to make this change here so you want to go to the maps and modes and make sure that you start up in the motion control map actually one other thing you might want to do while you're in the project settings is you want to go to your general settings and make sure that your near clip plane is set to one that way you won't have clipping issues as much as if you have it kept at 10. Then this HMD locomotion map and the startup map, these two maps here we don't really care about, so I'm just going to delete them. And I'm also going to go into the blueprints and we have an HMD locomotion pawn which I don't care about either. Since this is only for the Vive or for room scale, I don't really care about that one. So the main logic or work we're going to do is going to happen inside the motion controller pawn here. So also another thing I want to do in this first video is going to be to make a few initial changes in here. So we have the begin play here, which uh, branches off into some setup with uh, the tracking origin and some other stuff here and also spawning the motion controllers. So this stuff is generally what we would call initialization of the VR template. So I will create a custom event and call this initialize VR like this. So I'm going to disconnect this one and then make a sequence and then call this. The reason why I do this is because Eventually, if you keep working with this, you're going to have tons of stuff branching off, uh, maybe at the begin play or quite a few things. And you don't want to have these long uh, reroute nodes going all over the place. So this is just a good way of organizing things. So we're going to do something similar down here at the begin or uh, event tick. We have left hand and right hand teleportation. So we're going to do something similar. That is basically what I wanted to show in this video. So this is the basic setup that I'm going to continue working out from. So uh, stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to actually start working with the setup for, for the collision stuff here. So thank you for watching and see you in the next.